Hi everyone, welcome back. It's time for more Splatoon. Today we're going to be taking on level 19 in Octo Valley and uh, going from there. So, as I was locating each of the levels to try and make sure I go in somewhat of a, um, a uh, numerical order, I noticed like the, these are not places that you go the, through them in numerical order. Like you almost have to pass through some uh, some of the higher level ones before you get to the earlier ones. So, anyways, here we are at Tumbling Splatforms. So, <sighs> oh, this one's fun. I forgot about this one. Look at that platform go! Ah, it's a hot dog. Take that hot dog and splat. Bam! Oh, the old carbon roller tactic. Looking good, Agent Three. Why, thank you. I am quite yellow today. Alright, get up there. And... Whoa. And you go. And before we get go anywhere else, let's uh, see what's in this little box. It's a helmet. <laughs> uh, I do like the uh, hero gear. Like, the little LED... Uh, like, the soft, gradiating little holes. It looks so cool. And blam! Like, if I were a little bit craftier with electronics, I'd love to try and make this kind of stuff, like, actually glow. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, up we go. And take this guy out. Combo of stuff. Oh, boy. I'm gonna keep an eye open for those Summon Sea Scrolls again. I remember this one is, I think, under somewhere? Anyways. I'll see if I can remember later on. So... <laughs> this is just... Let's get... Don't lose your balance now. I'm tr really trying not to. The, um... This is just a neat way to, uh... Use the inking capabilities or squidding capabilities of, uh... Split 2. And, like, they really designed these levels to go well with the, uh, the new mechanics. Rather, the unique mechanics of Split 2. Okay. So that guy... These guys are able to stick there. That's weird. Why can't I do that? Maybe I don't have the right kind of boots. Hot dogs! Okay. Uh, where is it? Like I said, normally they show you a preview of where the, uh, the stuff is. Let's get up on the top here, get some vantage point. Hope you're not afraid of, of heights. Uh, however, I'll find it. Or will I? We're getting pretty close. Well, what do you know? I always remember to look behind you. It's useful both in Splatoon and Dark Alleys. Uh, climb these three and it's Zapfish time. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I make those little like grunts as I jump in games. Like I know it doesn't affect how I'm actually jumping in game, but like, oh boy, I didn't think that through. But it's a uh, it's habit at this point. So, let's just head up here, grab this sloppy little zapfish. Phew, I didn't think you'd make it, to be honest. Oh, look at this little guy. I'm, like, pointing right at him. Look at, it's me and this guy! It's a zapfish! Boom, baby. Is the big fluffy one providing shelter for the uh, little fishy one? Or is the little fishy one manipulating the bigger, the big fluffy one? We may never know. So, this is a uh, shout-out to Clownfish and Sea Anemone. Where they've got that weird relationship where clownfish hide inside the, the tentacles. Uh, wow, Gam said you were good, but we didn't expect you to be this good. Oh, thanks. Uh, but yeah, clownfish hide in the uh, scene enemy stuff, and they, they're just like immune to their poison, so. It's crazy. That is the hat shop keep, which is fitting. So there's a little teapot here, but that's not where we're trying to go as of right now. We're trying to go to level 20, which is over this way. Uh, uh. Once again, no advantage to this, but this is just trying to uh, satisfy my own desires. Anyways, Octoling up Uprising, here we go! Ah, Bluefin Depot. I remember, uh, oh, the Octolings with seaweed on their head are super tough. They also go stuff like that. They've got to use some crazy styling gel to get that kelp to stay up. Hey, how you doing? Oh boy. <laughs> Apparently they're doing well. I read their little letter on the splat bomb. They said they're doing a-okay. Okay, so they 
purposefully spawn behind those things. Alright, so there's one down. Spot it up and get going. Uh, let's see, where are you? Okay, one more down. This is, uh, I remember when I was first playing through this on my own, I remember thinking like, man, this map's pretty cool, it would make a really wicked, uh, multiplayer map, and then they, uh, they did implement it, so, you know. <laughs> that was kind of a neat discovery. Uh, I, I don't know if I've played this, uh, map on, uh, on videos yet. Sorry, there's Octarines nearby, I'm trying to, uh, keep up with what they're doing and not getting splatted myself. And I'm once again trying to remember where the, uh, Sun and Sea Scroll is. Alright, another special. Once again, I'm... I want to get the extra points for... Oh, let's, you know, let's grab this checkpoint and avoid that bomb. Mm, I don't like your... what you're doing. I'm not a fan, gotta say. Fight me like a man, you lady squid. Alright, that's an ice squid. That's an octopus. Who am I? Ugh. Hold on. <laughs> what the hell? This is an undertale post. More tuna. Alright. I also really dislike uh, coming up this bridge in real matches. Because you really have to uh, book it. This is where having, uh, having walk speed up really helps you in, in, uh, in matches. Okay. That fish is right there. There's armor. Where is the zap fish? Or not the zap fish, the um. Oh, like a cat. I've lost another life. Yet I'm still. Mm. <laughs> I found the uh. Sung and Sea Scroll. Okay. Hold on a tick. Let's take this a little bit slower. Okay. Alright, where are you? Let's switch to the old favorite. Boom. Nope. Miss. Nope. I'm out of ink. That's not good. I don't know. <laughs> I notice that they're uh, doing a little hop mm, and um, spinning around shooting wildly. I wonder if like that was originally one of the mechanics that they were hoping players would do is uh, have to not like a lot of guns they shoot at your feet a little bit so that you can just like shoot forward and then um I'm switching back to slap bombs. Hold on a second. Yeah, just like spin around and shoot your feet. Cause like, what are you doing? <laughs> Anyways. Let's heal up a little bit. Something I don't do enough in real matches. And grab some armor. So, uh... But yeah, I wonder if that was something they intended us to do. Is just like twirl around like idiots on the battlefield to try and get ink where we need it to go. That's rude. I shouldn't call Octolings idiots just because they're, uh, you know, apparently the, the inferior squi uh, crustacean race. Uh, yeah, race, I guess. Species. That's what I'm looking for. Come here, Zapfish. Oh. And there's a bonus for at least having one armor piece. Boom, baby. The Squid Quad, the Squid Squad's new album, Fresh Kids, takes their trademark Squid Core to a whole new level. Critics call it an oral buffet of squidiosyncratic psychedelic kissy. Oh, that's a mouthful. The perfect theme for any turf war. On sale now. <laughs> uh, I do like the Splatoon music. I used to listen to it at work for a bit. Uh, cause it's nice, like, nonsense music that I can just put on in the background. And it's upbeat, too. So let's head back. Uh, into this little stream here and uh, hit up this last level before boss time. Through here and shoot at my feet. Number 21. Yet another familiar sight. Oh, Slippy Snaps. It's an Octo Striker. <laughs> Why? Ink Strikes. You know, I think Seekers are going to be my friend here, because they're going to help me stay stealthy and uh, take people out if need be. Oh, I've got stuff here. Out of the way. <laughs> I wonder if that uh, little bling 
for activating specials would be a good like uh, ringtone for for Splatoon players. It'll definitely keep them on their on their uh, toes. Jeez, there's an awful lot of you. Um, please get up the wall. Thank you. Thank you. And scoot away. I wonder. They um, this is Urchin Underpass, and they had uh, edited it at some point. Uh, because there's a an area where it's bottlenecked a bit too much, and uh, I wonder if this is the edited version or the f the initial one. If this is the early one, yeah, neat. It's a mini time capsule into what once was. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, let's get up here, and I believe the uh, sunken sea scrolls over here to the right. Eep, 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 eep. That was, that, was t that was close. Uh, maybe it's up here, actually. I know it's somewhere here, here to the right. That's what my instincts are telling me. Let's check back here. You're not. Oh, they're leading their shots. Mm, is that it? Hello, Octo Striker. Sure is. Okay. Uh, it's not good. Escape! Run away! Squid away! Okay. Glad I got that so I don't have to backtrack again. Okay, let's just make our way back up to the place where I belong, near Zapfish. You know, I switched to, um, to Seekers right when I started this, but I didn't end up using a single one. Anyways, Launchpad located, let's go. <laughs> I love this squeaky noise. <laughs> it makes that little squeaky noise and it's adorable. Mm, leading your shots a little bit, I see. Okay, let's just take care of these little lackeys first before I uh, try taking this guy on. Yeah, it's it's not too bad if you use your uh, your specials. Oh, bling bling bling. So let's uh, hop in here and go out and grab our sloppy little friend. I guess. I guess being a squid, having fishy smells wouldn't bother you. That's normal. Anyways. What is this? It looks like it could be, could be the proprietor, proprietor of that shoe shop. Could there have been an ancient creature that consumed prawns as food? A terrifying thought indeed. Mmm, shrimp tempura. Whew. I'm allergic to shrimp, so I don't get to have that often. Oh, I love the, uh... <laughs> yes, all the zapfish and... Now there's where, where's that boss kettle? Well, I'm happen to be looking right at it, uh, agent, agent, whatever your name is. All right, inklings on the menu. The ravenous Octoma. Here we go. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have upgraded my equipment before I came in here because this guy's given me issues in the past. But we'll see. All right, what do you got? Show me what you got. These poor zapfish, man, look. He doesn't look too terrified, I guess, but... I don't know. I would be pretty intimidated being lowered onto, like, essentially a bear trap. <laughs> so I like that this guy's actually got, like, a wire mesh on him similar to that of, uh, a microphone. Yeah! Alright, so the game is... Break the teeth, and, uh... <laughs> you gotta, yeah, throw a bomb in there in order to, uh, get this guy's tentacle exposed. And those were some really easy to shatter teeth, but uh, he's got denture upgrades, yo. Check this out. Pshink! When I get dentures, they're gonna be shiny. Polished to a chrome. So, come on, show me what you got. And yeah, I'm just going to save up a little bit here and throw something in right away. <laughs> the uh, My first few attempts at this, I had a lot a hard time I thought I had to break all the teeth first, and it is beneficial to do that, but uh, it's definitely not necessary. All right, let's let's engage him head on. Gold teeth, I think, will be a bit too far. I don't think I'd want to have gold teeth. That seems a little too uh, tacky. Come on, because <clears throat> uh, I know I guess gold teeth don't tarnish or anything, but oh yeah, see, this is what I mean. Um, now that the teeth are harder to break. It's uh, taking me a bit more to get through to, in order to get a bomb in. Oh, 
They've got little megaphones that uh, pop up as they try and shoot. That's neat. I didn't notice that. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Sorry, I, I was forgetting ink. I thought you would find me. And let's just let's just exit. Oh boy. Oh boy. No. 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 Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to exit because I'm like, oh, there's a gap there. Let's just swim past and uh, that'll be it. But what do you know? He doesn't like being in green ink. Come on. Come on, dude. Do it. All right, here we go. And first bomb in. Shoot those through. Oh, I'm going to do it again, aren't I? Yeah, I messed up. I messed up. He's going to fire teeth at me again. Mm, here we go. Man. Oh, I hope these dentures didn't cost too much. I feel bad for this little guy. Like, they're, they're, they're gold, so... I'm surprised they're shattering, actually. Yeah, no, gold wouldn't shatter unless it's really cold. A anyways. Uh, get out there, out here, and let's just try... Sh let's just try shooting through, and then... Oh, that's way easier. Why was I trying to bomb them first? Anyways. Last hit. Oh, the horrifying... Fish Mike blood just sprays everywhere, Bill, Kill Bill style. Oh, he's got, he's got no more teeth. He's just gummy. Well, and splatted gore everywhere. Let's go for a swim before we, uh, before we continue. All right, and one more friend for this video. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. yeah. Holy mackerel pancakes, Agent 3, you're, you're really good. I've seen better. If you keep this up, we'll find the great zapfish in no time. That's great and all, but don't forget about the captain. Scritchy scratch. Who is this? Yeah, Incopolis. Ah, it's the final boss. Give us back the great zapfish, you jerk. And Captain Cuttlefish, we want him back too. Incopolis is mine, yo. Dude, seriously, get your own radio channel. Agent 3, you gotta do something about this guy, and quick! Swing! Alright, uh, this one's just gonna be a new weapon, and that is for... I can't remember what that is. Anyways. Let's watch the uh, returning fate of Octarians as their electrical problems continue to thwart their plans. The gate is to the next area. The gate to the next area is open. Get a move on. So this is going to be the last and final area before we uh, take on the big boss. I don't know why I was heading to that ledge. Uh, they've even got this handy little locator thing for me. But, uh, yeah. Let's just ink this up and squid, squid, squid. Squid, squid, squid. And up we go. Ah, uh, yeah. So this area's got quite a few levels. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's getting progressively bigger and much more vertical. So we're gonna tackle this next video. Thank you very much for watching and oh, nice shot of spinning UFO up there with a teapot on it. So, yep, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> that was anticlimactic.